Getting a late start today. I'm just at the parking lot waiting for the girls to get out of school. And uh, it's one of those days where after we have a really, really busy day, even though our last couple weeks have been really busy days, I kind of have to take a breath, a breath to catch up on everything that I've been, you know, not able to keep up on, like uh, working on cleaning up the house and, you know, all the things that are just never ending for moms. Uh, so I have been doing that all day and that's not so exciting to show you, but I'm making progress and uh, It's been a good day so far. We've had a little bit of rain, which was awesome and And I I don't mean to talk about the weather cause I have nothing better to talk about but I really like the weather I pay close attention to it and how it makes me feel and I like I like watching the weather change so we did get some water today, which was a great blessing. We would love lots more water for our area. We're needing it bad. Uh, we have some exciting things for the rest of the weekend. I've, I'm waiting for our tree to get here. I think it might get here today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm also supposed to get a couple other packages in the mail, which is always exciting. I love, you know, even though I'm the one purchasing a lot of our Christmas things, it's really fun still to get them in the mail. That's kind of like my excitement part of it, the surprise. I think that's it so far. And the one dollar bill at school. school. Well, she tried to find whose it was and couldn't find it, so you made an effort. And that's kind of cool, huh? My friend's trying to take it. Yeah, and you got it. Okay, well, we're going to take these bags out to the trunk so that, so that I don't forget them for the next time I go to Sprouts. So, anyway, another thing to show you, too, uh, that I think was exciting. I think Scott told you about them. Maybe not, though is when we were at the dollar store the other day, we found, sure, can you be patient? We found these cute little tins that we're gonna use to give some Christmas gifts to our teachers and our uh, other people there. So we've got um, these cute, super cute tins that I found. I told Scott I wanna keep them all for myself because they're so cute. But anyway, so we got four of those. Now I get to make some cute fun treats to put in there to give away, so I'm excited about that. Lots of Christmas project, lots of things going on, and lots of children interrupting, so I guess I should go back to see what they need. And what are you watching, your favorite show? It's funny to us how a show that we grew up on, that we absolutely obsessed over and loved and dressed like all of those things, the girl's favorite show. Oh, well, she used to love it. Anyway, they've seen every episode of Full House probably like 50 times, not kidding. And we all love it because they don't have shows like this anymore where they're teaching kids how, you know, all these life lessons. They just don't, they don't put the same morals and traditional values into the shows today. So we love it, uh, even though it's, you know, 25 years old. Wait, is it 25? 20. Well, no, 25 years old since it started. So anyway, we love it because we just think that it, you know, the shows today are missing that. So we watch a lot of Full House. I don't know if you uh, watch Full House, but thumbs up for Full House. Do you have anything to say? Uh, have a good day? Bye! You tired from being up so, so late last night? Yes! Yeah, let's take a nap. A couple weeks ago, we had a comment, and it was actually from Canadian Family Vlog, Hi Canadian Family Vlog, uh, about keeping the house organized and clean which I will completely be honest and say hardly ever happens all at once but I over the summer when I was pregnant with the baby I, uh, I made a list I'm kind of a list maker uh, that helps me to keep it organized the things that I'm doing so that in theory if I followed the list which I did this summer uh, if I followed the list really well then I would have all of the house continuously clean with just like daily minimal effort, which like I said, in theory would be awesome because I usually wait too long and then it's lots of projects that are overwhelming and too big. But just to show you what I created in an attempt to do that, I divided everything, again, excuse my OCD, but I divided everything into um, like daily tasks that make it so that as I, um, go through each day that makes it so alternatively all of the different parts of the house are deep cleaned each month at least once and then kind of maintained 
weekly. My goal is to get back to that so that, like I said, after one month of doing those things, you don't even have to start by doing everything all at once. You just start by dividing it all up and then start on whatever day you're on. And then a month from that point, your entire house will have been really deep clean. Like, oh my gosh, guys, there's a huge box coming to us from FedEx. Oh, you're coming? I guess so. I already had my camera turned on. Is it for Christmas? Oh. Whoa. There's one skinny box and one giant one. Is it for Christmas? Did you say back off? Is it a Christmas tree? What? what? Oh. Is it our Christmas tree? Thank you. Yay! Our Christmas tree's here. What else? Uh, I don't know. That doesn't look like a Christmas tree. Uh, it's tall. Golly. Put it together. <laughs> All right. Oh, did you tell that. did you tell me to back off or to be quiet? I didn't want you to draw so much attention to certain things or certain people in the room. I thought that these things weren't anything that was part of this is. Be careful, Ben. Part of part of what is what? What are you doing? He like mm -hmm. that. This family. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, got it now. Christmas ruiner. Hi. I'm a Christmas ruiner. Girls, we need to organize these shoes. I'm a ruiner of surprises sometimes. Yeah. All right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm so proud of the tree. Good. <laughs> so I was talking to our friends, Canadian Family Vlog, and they were telling me this little secret about this cupboard. Hey, come here for a second, girls. You got to check this out. Okay, they were telling me a secret about the cupboard. If you put a camera in the cupboard at a specific time of day, at 4 o'clock on the dots, um, uh, central time, then then something happens with the wood and the frequencies, and our footage will actually go there, and their footage is going to come here. It's kind of weird how it works. So, so let's just try this. Give it a whirl. All right. Okay, you guys ready? All right. That it worked. All right. Let me see. Hey guys, it totally worked. Look, we're on the Simpson channel. This hey, is... Hi, I'm Vicky. Malachi. Ebony. And this is Levi. Levin. <laughs> and I'm Nick, and we're the Canadian Family Vlog. Right, guys? I just had popcorn. You just had some popcorn, <laughs> yep. So we are friends with the Simpson family, and we're actually going to be doing some collaborations with them coming up soon, and we're really excited for it. So you guys will probably see a little bit more of us, but we hope that maybe you guys will come and check out our channel too, right, Vicky? Yeah, it's really fun. It's just our crazy life with our three kids. Oh, he's happy. Yeah. Hi. So basically, we do daily videos of our family, and they're lots of fun. We have lots of fun kids. So if you want to come and check it out, we just got a thousand subscribers, so maybe you can be part of that too. So we hope to see you there and comment on our comments below. So we'll put you back in the cupboard now as you can go back to the Simpsons. Bye! 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 Here we go. See you later. Alright. I think we're back now. That was pretty cool. Oh, sorry, did he hook you? <laughs> the claw, got her. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, guess what time it is? It is like 2.20 in the morning. And I've been working all day. I think my hair's kind of messed up. Although it wouldn't be the first time my hair's messed up in a vlog. It's always messed up in a vlog. So anyway, what I wanted to say is go check out the Canadian Family Vlog. They're an awesome family. They've got a great vlog. They're super hilarious. They just broke 1,000 subscribers. Just reached that plateau, or not that plateau, but they, they just reached that goal. That's what I'm trying to say. They reached that goal, and so they've got a lot of momentum. So go check them out. They're really cool, good friends of ours. And, um, and have a fantastic night. You know, go, go give your kids a kiss. Give your wife a kiss. And, um, and tell them how much you love them. It's important. All right, guys. Well, have a fantastic day, fantastic morning, night, whatever. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure to subscribe and visit us on Facebook.